My construction on the new Indianapolis Transit Center has fallen five months now behind schedule. Tonight, only on 13, our City Beat reporter Mary Mills has a look at what's behind the delay and how much it's costing taxpayers. Mary? John, the banner behind me says opening late 2015. Well, that is not going to happen. I'm told the Transit Center probably won't open now until late spring. Why? Well, because of all the stuff archaeologists have been digging up on the southwest corner of the site. Now, you may recall this goes back to January when crews uncovered parts of a building and things like glassware here dating back to the late 1800s. So Indigo stopped construction in that area and began working with the State Historic Preservation Office and hiring archaeologists to sift through and document everything here. And so far, I'm told, they've uncovered, get a load of this, more than 100,000 artifacts. We, the idea here is to preserve, and, and as you get into the project, uh, some things you might know, some things you don't know. Uh, the level of uh, the archaeological monitoring has been probably more significant than we anticipated. And, uh, but uncovering some of the really the old Indianapolis that hasn't been documented, to me that adds a really cool factor to this and really plays well, I think, into our uh, state's bicentennial. We found uh, a lot of bottles, uh, there are uh, pipes. Uh, in terms of smoking pipes, uh, there's uh, coins, there are also uh, uh, various building materials. He says they also found a couple of safes which they have yet to open. Now, uh, Mike Terry says the delay could add an extra four to five million dollars to the cost of the project, and he says that money will likely come from the contingency fund. John? So, Mary, what's going to happen to all the artifacts? Well, they belong to Indigo. They were found on its property, and Mike Terry says their plan is to give them to museums, the Heron School of Art, whoever wants them. Also, I'm told that within the next couple of weeks, they are going to be doing a media tour of the site and showing us some of the things they found, so that should be pretty interesting. All right, very interesting. Thank you. Mary Mills reporting from downtown tonight.